What is going on, Ape Nation? So a lot of YouTubers have been preaching to you the fact that as an ape, you only have one job, and that would be to hodl. Some other YouTubers are even telling you that you have two jobs, and that would be to buy and also to hodl. But in this video, I'm going to add to that load a little bit, so I hope you don't mind. But I'll be telling you about a third task that is very important to the ape movement. And of course, there is no intro on this channel. We're gonna get right to it. But before we do, I just wanna ask that you go ahead and smash that like button so the YouTube algorithm gets this out to every single ape, just like me and you. And of course, if you are new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button because we do want you to join our growing ape family and you'll get access to videos just like this one every single day and definitely make sure you hit that notification bell if you do decide to subscribe because that's the only way to ensure that you'll never miss an upload but without any further ado let's go ahead and get into the video and the best way that i know to do this is to start with citadel now keep in mind that citadel is not the only company that's doing this but they do play a major role sorry ken griffin but yeah, that's that's the fact. That's the truth. So we're going to be taking a look at Citadel. We're going to take a look at their transgressions. And we're going to be starting from the earliest transgressions that I can find. And then kind of work our way up to the most recent. Within the last couple of years, investing has become dramatically more accessible with the standardization of the commission-free trading model. This has played an important role in broadening the investor class. But like many innovations, it has come with a new set of challenges that must be addressed. Without commission fees, brokerages lean on other forms of revenue to sustain and grow their businesses, including payment for order flow or PFOF. This is a much debated practice in which a brokerage firm receives rebates on trades routed through its clearing firm. The main criticism of PFOF is that it creates misalignment between the financial aims of the brokerage and the interests of its clients. So I'm sure most of you have heard that Citadel has been paying for order flow from Robinhood, which is pretty concerning, but the truth is Citadel is paying for order flow from nine different online brokerage firms, not just Robinhood. So because of this, there's growing concern among lawmakers that Citadel Securities' motivation in paying for this order flow is to be able to trade against unsophisticated retail traders known as dumb money on Wall Street, or better yet, let's call them the apes. Yeah, that would be us. But they're doing this in order to unfairly enhance its own bottom line. The disciplinary history of Citadel Securities unfortunately aligns with this exact thesis. On June 25th, 2014, Citadel Securities was fined a total of $800,000 by its various regulators for serious trading misconduct. Citadel paid the fines in the typical manner without admitting or denying that there's anything wrong with what they're doing, essentially without admitting or denying the charges against it. The New York Stock Exchange alleged the following had occurred. The firm sent multiple periodic bursts of order messages at 10,000 orders per second to the exchanges. This excessive messaging activity, which involved hundreds of thousands of orders for more than 19 million shares, occurred two to three times per day. In addition, Citadel erroneously sold short on a proprietary basis. 2.75 million shares of an entity causing the share price of that entity to fall by 77% during an 11-minute period. In another instance, according to the New York Stock Exchange, Citadel's trading resulted in an immediate increase in the price of the security of 132%. Then on January 9th, 2014, the New York Stock Exchange charged Citadel Securities LLC with engaging in wash sales, 502,200 and 43 times through the use of computer algos. A wash sale is where the buyer and seller are the same entity and no change in beneficial ownership occurs. So to put this in terms that you can understand, Citadel is essentially playing ping pong with itself in order to manipulate these stocks. So wash sales are illegal because they can manipulate stock prices up or down. Citadel Securities paid a $115,000 fine. So for these 502,243 violations, 
that's uh, pretty steep. That's 23 cents per violation. My goodness. I mean, yeah, I wouldn't want to risk doing that and having to pay 23 cents per violation because you know what? That, that wouldn't be good for the company. On January 13th, 2017, it seems Citadel got in trouble again. This time they were fined $22.6 million in fines and disgorgements. According to FINRA, two algorithms used by Citadel Securities did not internalize retail orders at the best price observed, nor sought to obtain the best price in the marketplace. These algorithms were triggered when they identified differences in the best prices on market feeds, comparing the SIP feeds to the direct feeds from exchanges. One strategy, known as Fast Fill, immediately internalized an order at a price that was not the best price for the order that Citadel Securities observed. The other strategy, known as Smart Provide, routed an order to the market that was not priced to obtain immediately the mm -hmm. best price that Citadel Securities observed. More recently, on July 16, 2020, Citadel Securities agreed to a $700,000 fine by Wall Street's self-regulator FINRA for executing customer orders at prices worse than it traded for its own account. Citadel Securities was allowed to neither admit nor deny the charges. The activities occurred over a period of years. On November 13, 2020, FINRA fined Citadel Securities $180,000 for failing to mark 6.5 million equity trades as a short sale or as short sales. And by the way, this all took place between September 14th, 2015 and July 21st, 2016. And in case you haven't guessed yet, yeah, Citadel just paid the fine. They did not admit nor deny the allegations, which is pretty much what they do every single time. But now let's talk a little bit about dark pools. So Citadel Securities previously owned a dark pool called Apogee. And in 2014, Wall Street on Parade became curious because they couldn't find any information about this dark pool. So they filed a FOIA request with the SEC, you know, under the Freedom of Information Act. And it's very surprising to see that the SEC refused to cooperate in providing any information. As you can see in the letter provided on your screen, it says we have determined to withhold records responsive to your request. Then just a year later, Reuters reports that Citadel decided to shutter Apogee. Something else I find interesting is that Citadel's hedge fund filings with the SEC indicate that some of the largest banks on Wall Street, such as JP Morgan Chase, Goldman Sachs, and Citigroup are its prime brokers meaning that it is highly likely that they and other globally systemic banks are providing margin loans that have helped Citadel Advisors leverage its equity from $35 billion to $235 billion. I'd like to direct your attention back to Payment for Order Flow for just one more second. So Payment for Order Flow, or PFOF, is the compensation, as much as one penny per share, that a stockbroker receives from a market maker in exchange for the broker routing its clients' trades to the market maker. It is a controversial practice, and it's often referred to as a kickback. So if you guys hear that term, you already know what it is. But in general, market makers, and the largest of which is Citadel LLC, are willing to pay brokers for the right to fulfill small retail orders. The market maker makes a profit from the bid-ask spread and rebates a portion of this profit to the routing broker as PFOF. Another fraction of a penny per share may be routed back to the consumer as price improvement. Brokers in the United States that accept payment for order flow include Robinhood, E-Trade, Ally Financial, Webull, TradeStation, The Vanguard Group, Charles Schwab Corporation, and TD Ameritrade. We are also going to discuss or go over the brokers that do not accept PFOF, but before we go there, I do want to show you guys just a few numbers, and I think after you guys see these numbers, which are mind-blowing, by the way, I think it will give you a pretty good idea of what we need to do to win this war. By the way, all of this information can be obtained through a company's 606 disclosure. But anyhow, in 2020, the top seven brokerage firms that accept payment for order flow 
were paid $2.6 billion for selling order flow to venues like Citadel Securities, Global Execution Brokers, and Virtue Americas. The average quarterly payment for order flow in 2020 was $0.65 billion. But the shocking part is how much these numbers went up in 2021. So the newly released data for the first quarter of 2021, and this is just for the first quarter, okay? This data reveals that the payment for order flow grew to $1.04 billion in Q1 of 2021. So listen to these numbers. Okay, as a matter of fact, you can check them out on your screen, but here are the 2020 totals on the left column and then the 2021 Q1 totals on the right hand side column. Now, TD Ameritrade, $1,148,550,502. That was the 2020 total compared to the 2021 Q1 total, which is $428,000,000. $923,484. Next up, we have Robinhood. The 2020 total was $687,094,992. And then the 2021 Key one total is $330,862,253. For E-Trade, the 2020 total was $402,493,959. Compared to the 2021 total or the 2021 Q1 total of $139,403,087. For Charles Schwab, the 2020 total was $245,463,984. Compared to the 2021 Q1 total of $78,000,000. $81,154. For Webull, the 2020 total was $63,853,903, compared to the Q1 total of 2021, which is $46,021,618. Incredible. Now for TradeStation, the 2020 total, $41,844,854. And the Q1 totals for 2021, 17,143,896. For Ally Invest, you've got the 2020 total at $15,270,053. Compared to the 2021 Q1 total of $4,561,965. So the grand total for 2020 was $2,604,572,249 compared to the Q1 2021 total of $1,044,997,457. That is crazy. That is freaking insane. Now, I'm not going to go through each one of these individually, but I am going to say something about the Robinhood payment for order flow <laughs> because we see that for the Robinhood payment for order flow, there was significant growth in 2020 to $0.69 billion with a monthly average of $57 million. The monthly average in the first quarter of 2021 grew to $110 million for a grand total of $0.69 $33 billion PFOF in Q1 2021. So what is the significance of all of this? Well, if all of these brokers are making this much money from PFOF, just imagine how much money Citadel and the other venues are profiting off of this. This is all money that they're going to be able to use in order to wage a war against us or in the war against the apes, which of course is us. So what are we going to do about it? Well, earlier in this video, I told you that we would be talking about the brokerages that do not accept PFOF or payment for order flow. Now, before I get into that, let me explain something very quickly. I know that a lot of you guys, especially a lot of my subscribers, like to use Webull. A lot of you guys are there. If you're just using these brokers because of some of the tools that they have on their platform, maybe the charts, like for example, I like using Webull for the charts and tools that they have on my mobile device because a lot of the times I am away from my 
laptop or computer. So if you're just doing that, there's nothing wrong with that. That's perfectly okay. Where we have a problem is if you are buying or selling stocks or options on those platforms. That's where Kenny or Ken Griffin makes his money. But now let's get to the platforms that you can use that do not help out Ken Griffin. So the first one being Interactive Brokers, the second Merrill Edge, and the third Fidelity. Any of those three, they do charge commissions, which does suck. But hey, at least you know that Kenny is not going to be using the money that he makes off of your transactions against the apes. Anyhow, that's about all I got for you in this video. But what I want from you guys, your homework assignment is to let me know in the comments below what you think about these three platforms. Do you have a preference? Have you used any of them? Are you currently using any of them? Is there another platform or other platforms that you are aware of that do not participate in payment for order flow that you can share with the rest of us apes in the comments below? That's what I want to know. Let us know, you know, any information that I missed in this video that's pertinent here because this is a team effort. And if we do not work together, then you know what? We may be taking an ass whooping and where i'm from grown men don't take no ass whooping so you guys let me know in the comments below help us all out here and i will see you in the next video while i have you here i wanted to quickly tell you about the brand new first trade app available for mobile or pc the platform will give you access to powerful and easy to use tools and allows you to trade with less restrictions zero commissions zero fees and you can use the first link in the description below to download a free stock today without having to deposit any money this will greatly help out the channel and is always appreciated and now back to your regularly scheduled programming congrats ladies and gentlemen you've made it to the end of the video if you like what you watched make sure you subscribe because i put out videos just like this one every single day and please do me a favor and smash that like button if I helped you in any way because it really goes a long way in helping the channel out and keeps me motivated to make videos every single day. Now there's a lot of work involved, a lot of research, and a lot of time and effort into editing and putting these out daily for you guys. You can subscribe from your screen right now or if you want to watch one of my other videos, I'm sure YouTube has some good content picked out for you on the left-hand side of your screen now. Thanks for sticking it out with me till the end, and I will see you guys in the next video.